What's up, everyone? It is Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. It's also our weekly reset in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So we're going to find out what's new with the Ecos. We should have a ship week. And, of course, we still have this glitch going on. I'm Dark Shred of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this. So as always, we check Sargon's shop, the Ecos of the Olympians. Let's see what he's got. And, huh, he's got the Shark Bite, which is 480 or just a legendary ship sail. And then we have a Phobo skin, Pyroise. This, I believe, is part of the Helios set if you bought it at the store. And this is 100 of the ore. Now, I know a lot of people... With the glitch that's going on are asking should i be buying these items and then you know continue with the glitch or should i just go with the glitch and see if i get these items well you got to figure number one these items are guaranteed but they are 180 or for the total or you can go with the olympian gifts and see if you get them anyway for 20 or and a possibility of getting other stuff along with it on top of that you also have plenty of time to get all kinds of other ore because remember today on the bounty board there's a daily worth 10 to 11 there is a ship that's going to be anywhere from 15 to 17 and then there's the other weekly which is going to be 40 and then I've been putting out a bunch of the maps showing where all the ore is. So you have that opportunity. And then you also have the opportunity for the rest of this week where you're doing a ship for 15 to 17, depending on if you're top tier mercenary or not. And a daily for 10 to 11, again, if you're top tier mercenary or not. So the choice is up to you. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. But, like I say, if you're going to take that gamble, take that gamble. If you get these two items for 180 of the ore, you figure that there's a possibility that you are saving yourself 140 pieces of ore if you get it in the Olympian Gifts. We'll see what happens, though. Let's see, for the... Uh, Epics, we have the Hoplite Javelin, Warrior Damage, 24%, 40% Fire Damage, and 30% Damage with Spears. That's a decent Warrior piece if you are a Javelin user. And then Persian Warrior Helmet, which is 24% Warrior Damage, 40% Chance to Ignore Half Damage, 30% Damage with Sword. So these two items you could actually collect if you are using a Sword and Spear combo for 90 in total or... You could just travel the world and see if you get it either via the blacksmith shops or via just attacking other people and stuff like that. So let's check the bounty board. Let's see what's on the board here. All right, so Blades of Justice. This is the weekly. We'll check that out. Bounty on a pirate ship. This is for the Black Wind. And then, of course, this is the daily. Now, if we're attacking a pirate ship just for some extra XP, you could look to see if there is a sort of bounty that also has pirate ships. And I don't believe we see any. Nope, bandits and the daughters of Artemis. All right, but you could also check out other things as well. Let's see take a look at the quests blades of justice oh this has bandits and we just saw one on the board that did have bandits assassinate bandits kill bandits with swords kill bandits with spears so that's pretty self-explanatory that is not going to be hard at all i don't know why we're picking on bandits last week's weekly was also bandits 
where we had to kill several bandits and then sink pirate ships. So let's see, the pirate ship is the Black Wind. And let's just take a look at what that will look like. So many ships, look at this. Go, the black wind right there. So that's what it's going to look like. It kind of looks like the way that these pirate ships look anyway. It kind of looks like you're sailing their actual flag. So let's go ahead and take a look at where on the map it is. And it seems to be on the lower east side. So I'm going to park somewhere close to it and then pull up on it. So here we are pulling up on the ship. And just to give you an idea of what's going on here, there is the main ship. There are two pirate ships with it. As always, the main ship will count as its own kind of entity. All these pirate ships will be regular pirate ships, but they'll only defend the other ship. They consider it a pirate ship, even though it is not a pirate ship. If you had a bounty in which you were supposed to attack pirate ships and you attacked all three of these ships, you'd only get the two actual pirate ships that would count. The third one, the main one, would not count as a pirate ship. I don't know why they do that, but They've always done that. It's kind of weird. Really strange. I actually enjoy cleaving the ships in half because I feel like you get more resources that way. Even though for some reason that just dropped its resources in the water. Same with that one, which is kind of weird. I know some people like to actually board the ships as well. They feel like they get more stuff because there are treasure chests on there. But I kind of feel like after you cleave them, you actually do get those items. So now you see I've got a ton of different materials. I got mercenary gloves and I got 17 ore. Now I got the 17 ore because I'm the top tier mercenary. If I wasn't, I would only get 15 ore. I got the mercenary gloves, the epic mercenary gloves, because I already have the sail. So if you have the sale, that's what's going to happen. If not, you'll actually get the sale itself if you missed it. And again, this is what your ship is going to look like after you have the sale. So anyway, that's all there is to that. Look out for the rest of the different map things that I'm putting out. I'm putting out a bunch of videos in which I'm giving you all of the ore all around the map. So that that way you could hunt it all. I have the actual ore map itself, so I've been just actually seeking it all out just for you guys, and I'm going to be putting up more of those videos for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and until the next one, take care.